So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design, so I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? <laughs> Probably another rejection slip. Oh well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. See you later. 
Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Wow, this is loud. Phew. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. Drat. It must be one of these. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? Drat. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? Ew, it's soaking wet.
1968, 1974, oh, 1977. Aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Does it have anything to do with a hamster? All I know is that I used to have a cute white hamster with spots, and now I have a cute brown one with no spots. It used to worry me, and the nightmares would come. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye! Peace be with you. Hey, want to see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh... <gasps> my Pony Express stamps. You ruined my Pony Express stamps. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those... Negative feelings. Get out of here. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. Thank you. 
I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Hey, boy, you missed the party! You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night! At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention! I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time! Has anyone ever told you you look like Donny Osmond? That's strange. My wife says I look like Charles de Gaulle. So, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! You shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit! Cracks me up every time. Look, a three headed monkey. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Hi there! What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars! I import them from the finest Cuban munitions factories! So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? Get it! Get lost, kid!
Whew. 